honestly, no. I didn't. I really didn't know what to expect, and I think it's just like truly uh, been an amazing journey. That's the result of our writers and our showrunners kind of picking what works and and writing to it. And and so I didn't know what to expect, and I didn't know where it would go. And it's you know it's totally been them writing these episodes. And man, I've just been lucky as hell and, and really happy to be a part of it. I mostly play with the regular with the regular cast because I'm the guest star. I've done 20 or so episodes, but still, so for me, it's still a treat. I watch them on TV every week, so it's a treat just to play with them. How cool is it to do a scene with Amy Poehler? Kidding me? Give me a break. You know, right now, it's really exciting to have Billy Eichner on the show. He's just incredible. He's so funny. This face? You're questioning how I got Christy Brinkley? Oh, you might need to do some research. Uh, I don't know. I know that Ben keeps asking. <laughs> There's nobody more confused by it than Adam Scott's character. Uh, we do know, we've learned that Jerry is very capable at home. We did learn in see episode one of season three, Jerry has a very large penis. We did learn that. This, I'm not making this up. This was episode one of season three. So he's bringing stuff to the table. You know what I'm saying? I guess I had fans uh, in... Uh the Parks and Rec writers room and Mike Schur who created the show and you know I obviously knew Amy and Rashida and a lot of the cast members Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman are on Billy on the Street this season Rashida was on last season and they w got in touch with me and said they had a part for me and that's really all I knew and I came and I was nervous as hell and I did it and hope I didn't disappoint you know and they kept me around well I didn't come up with the guy I mean the writers came up with it I think it you know maybe loosely inspired by my Billy on the Street persona but it's interesting to take that persona and put it in an office in the Midwest as opposed to out on the streets of Manhattan. Um, and, uh, you know, that's interesting to sort of uh, figure out his role in all of that. If John Ralphio participated in Treat Yourself Day, I mean, first of all, I think you'd just shadow Aziz, whatever he did. But I feel like he would go to a spa and just match up the absolute worst things in the universe, like eat chocolate inside a hot tub or like drink around as many beautiful women as he could just he would just probably ruin it it would just be terrible it'd be disgusting if he could participate in treat yourself day he'd start with a triple whiskey and water and then he would just watch he would just watch dave matthew band dave matthews band live at red rocks on dvd on a loop and get stoned with april <laughs> oh my god it, it immediately wants to be with his family he wants to be with his wife and his girls um a trip to muncie uh, go to the soda shop, their favorite ice cream shop. Uh, and then at night, Jerry's in bed by nine. Gail might be out with her girlfriends, having a little fun. But a treat yourself day for Gary Larry Jerry is family and uh, Muncie. That's a treat yourself. He would lock himself in a silent bunker and grill an entire cow. Um, and drink a couple bottles of Lagavulin while listening to Chris Christopherson's early albums. I think he would just be so thrilled to be asked to be involved. You know, I think all Craig wants is to spend, like, private time with, with Retta. <laughs> you know, with Donna, I should say. Yeah. My slogan for Hollywood. Slogan for Hollywood? Wow, Hollywood. Get the hell out. Get out, get out, get out. It's so stressful. <laughs> It's stressful. I love LA. Hollywood is stressful. It would be nice if you were talented. That's my slogan. Hollywood, you're here. Be very careful and surround yourself with good people. Thank you. Uh, now, if I wasn't working, I'd be like, Hollywood, what the hell? But right now, Hollywood, thank you. I can tell you that I'm in the finale in these wonderful scenes with Tom and a bunch of other characters. I get to play with Billy and all these fun people. So it's going to be, I mean, it's a blast. This season is so fun. And they, I mean, when they let me play, it's the most fun in the universe. We'll see. We'll see what, uh, what Mike lets me do next season. Um, I think we will get to meet a love interest of Donna's. We just don't know who yet. I'm sure Donna wouldn't, you know, throw a, a, an R&B artist out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> Ron's gonna eat some meat, uh, display some feats of strength, uh, make some ladies cream their drawers, and uh, do, do actually a great deal of woodworking. There's a lot of running around and frantically trying to figure everything out. I guess that's like every season finale, there's some mad rush. This one's really, it's a big, what ends up happening is very exciting. And I wish I could tell you, but I just can't.